All right, back in the living room, and, and Cooper's joining us. And uh, Cooper, I don't know where your friends are, Cooper. Where are your buddies at? Where's Tyson at? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is good. You didn't do this about a half hour ago. You thought I didn't have any deodorant on. That's what it was. <laughs> All right. So when we left off, we were talking. Keon, we were talking a little bit about recruiting. And Kyron, I want you to chime in now because it, your turn is coming, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be there. You're going to be in front of college coaches very soon. You've already been. They believe me. They've already seen you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're going to see more of you. And you're going to have a spring. Uh, uh, process where they're going to see more of you, and I want to get your sense of things. In fact, maybe you can. I mean, you're the best example there is for them because you've already been through it. But being going through it, there is a process to this. There's a journey in all of this, and that's why we're we're leading into this with one story after the next. Uh, but this process, I'm I'm going to twist it around a little bit, and uh, let's talk about this. If you were recruiting you, okay, you're the college coach. You've got to go find out, and you've got to go find the next great defensive tackle, okay? What are you looking for? What attributes should there be? What would you be looking for? What would you like to see in that next great player that you want to bring to the University of whatever, okay? Uh, what, what are the things that matter? What are, uh, what's valuable? Probably now, these days, uh, I would look at um, athleticism. Uh, mm -hmm. how well they move their hips and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, good use of hands. Uh, okay. uh, and just knowing knowing the game and knowing your own position. Okay. And like basically watching film on the older guys and taking it back and uh, try to critique yourself and use it on. How much film do you watch? I Keon, watch. How much that? How important <laughs> is film watching? And I know you and your dad watch a lot. I know you do. So mm -hmm. it's a loaded question, but yeah. How important is the film watching process and evaluating tape? Uh, it's a lot. Uh, okay. Just knowing the opponent across me, what they're going to use, and knowing what they use a lot. Mm -hmm. um, just being prepared before the game and knowing what able what moves to use on them mm -hmm. and everything. So mm -hmm. it it's a lot you need to watch. And really breaking down your yeah, opponent significantly. Exactly. Right. Okay. That that I wanted to get that out because, again, the folks that will see this and and young players, uh, youth players, high school players, you can't get enough film. Right. Yeah. And and I think that's very important. So in this process, so those are some of the things that you're thinking are of value. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And while we're in this segment, I'm gonna keep with this, and then, uh, Kyron, we're gonna come and, and and get you. Okay. You're not gonna stay here quiet the whole night. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get you. Um, let, let's talk about this, and I talked to your dad in, the, in another segment about the rankings, and, and here you are there, and then there's a drop-off, and, 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 you know, you can't measure everything by these numbers, mm -hmm. and now here comes the postseason, um, and all these all-star contests are coming up, and, and Keon, you're not being mentioned all right. on those all-star teams. What, what, what are you thinking as you wrap up this, this championship season? We'll talk a little bit about that, too. Mm -hmm. For me, it would be like, okay, that's cool. Exactly. Because there's going to be another level. What, what goes through your mind when you're thinking, oh, these guys have dropped me in rankings and no postseason all-star games. What's going through your mind? Is that a motivation? Is, that, is there any kind of, of course, motivation? Yeah. Okay, how's that feel? What do um, you think? There's a, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, mm -hmm. I have my dad, on the other hand, mm -hmm. send me all the messages of all the other dudes ranked higher than me. Uh-huh. And uh, all the write-ups about everyone else, uh, I really take it in, like, into deep and try to uh, focus on what I have next and mm -hmm. try to, like, bring that in as well onto the another guy in front of me okay. and try to uh, just, um, I don't know. Tell him what Rollo said about oh, practice. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to hear that. <laughs> Um, what Rado said was um, that it looks like everyone in front of me, like I have a price to pay, mm -hmm. you know, from sitting out from the sideline last year, yep. uh, standing on the sideline, clapping for, for the guys that are on my team mm -hmm. and just having a, a hard season, just watching our team, uh, national champions go out there and play. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was very rough and uh, it was a hard time. He said he said it looked like he, he was trying to Keon in practice seemed like he was taking out the frustration of not being able to play all of last year. He's taking it out on 
everybody on who's whoever's on the other side <laughs> yeah. of the wall. Which I, I'm thinking about this right now. It gives me chills a little bit because I'm yeah. you, you're such a nice young man. You're nice young man, nice looking young man. But I know better. I know better when the ball snap. And then to add this fuel to the fire, yeah. Yeah. right? I mean, you're sitting here thinking, if this happens to me, I know I'm gonna right. <laughs> yeah. You're seeing all this from your brother. I know if I'm sitting here as a competitor, you're thinking, okay, every time the ball is snapped. I'm going to go off right. in, in the way that I've been coached and the way that I know how to play the game and I will exact whatever we did. And that's, that, that's got to be, that's got to be a great feeling, exactly. right? And you have one more chance to do it. We'll talk about that when we come back from this last break. Okay. We'll be right back after this break and you'll hear a little bit more from the Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation. 